And ta-da! I went and um, got a bunch of trees grown in the backyard here. And they just grow. Hey! You little. Um, I'm sorry, what was I saying? <laughs> um, I got a bunch of those trees. They look like like these trees, but th but they're not. These are these are rubber trees. You can tell because so yeah, there you go. Um, and they have this little like you see this little rectangle thing here. I guess it's kind of ovalish, um, but like notice how it's not there up here. It's just on these ones. Um, it should be like in this area here. But uh, that's where the the resin grows, and it will grow back. I can't, like, take this block and move it somewhere, though, because I think even pushing it with a piston will make it so that that side is just like every other side. Um, but when it grows, there's a chance, like, see one there, that each block will have one. So, we've got some resin now, and I made that um, resin into rubber to make both a macerator and a geothermal generator. So, we're on our way. <laughs> um... Eventually, I want to move on to solar power, because solar is much easier. You don't have to sit there and, like, continually provide lava buckets, which can get annoying, because if you're running a rotary macerator or an induction furnace, it can just eat up through it while you're not here. And I mean, you can turn them off when you're not here, but it's just so much easier to leave them on. Um, so you can always just come in and throw stuff in, you know? Because when it's at max speed, because they, they slowly build up speed as they go, and um, and once they get to their max speed, they smelt things and macerate things so quickly, it's ridiculous. And um, it's just really a waste of... Well, I guess it's a waste either way. I was going to say it's a waste of energy to... Um, it's definitely a waste of time to turn it off every time, because then it has to slowly build up. And it uses... Where am I going? And it uses the same amount of power every time. Uh, like, over... It, it takes a certain amount of power per second, or per tick, or something, right? But, um... Where did that gravel thing come from? But, uh... That... I don't even remember what I was talking about. Um... Let's see what scales in. No! Did he just fall? Or did he just disappear? Oh, no, he fell. Let's go this way. Um... Because you know, so it's it's using power as it goes, um, and as it as it speeds up, and it's obviously not. It's going to take longer to macerate everything or smelt everything because it's it has to speed up. But on the other hand, running it or leaving it running all the time isn't necessarily an energy saver. So I don't know. Um, there is a way that you can like give it an upgrade to make it go faster in general, I think, but I haven't done that before, and I don't know how to do that, really. Um, it also makes it less efficient when you do that, so, um, I don't know. I mean, once we've got solar panels going, it's really not that big of a deal to just leave it running, because solar panels are, like, the best source of energy that I've seen so far. Um, oh, that reminds me, I've got, uh, these things. I've got a digger's backpack and a miner's backpack. Um, I made them because, well, what they what they are is backpacks, um, if that wasn't clear. We've got our... No, not what I wanted. Okay, there you go. Um, it's, it stores... Or, the miner's backpack stores, like, ores and bars and stuff in it. Um, so that's cool. Oh, I'll just take that. And the digger's backpack keeps, like, stone and um, dirt and stuff in it. So stop doing that. Um, so those are really good. I've got this this one set to. There's different modes, like you saw me do with this backpack on accident. If you're holding shift and you right click, it swaps between locked, which just means that you can't take anything out or put anything in. Um, receiving, I think, um, should say. Yeah, receiving, which just means that it, you can. It'll fill up like normal, but you can't accidentally uh, output it to a chest, which is normally how you'd get stuff out. You can just go up to a chest and shift and right click on the chest, and it'll. Um, It'll fill. It'll take all the contents from the chest or from the bag and put it in the chest. I'm pointing at my screen right now as if that's going to help you guys. Um, and resupply just means that normally stuff will fill up 
these columns before it'll fill up. Like, if I have a stack of cobblestone in my inventory, um, and I pick up some cobble, and there's some cobble in here, it'll fill up this stack before it starts putting it in here. Um, or even if I, or in this one, actually. Um, but what resupply means is that if I start using some cobblestone, say, um, then it'll take it from the bag and put it in my cobblestone so I never run out. Which is really nice, because that way I have a place to store all my cobblestone. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to hit the mic there. Um, I can store a bunch of cobblestone and use cobblestone all the time, and both are much easier now. So if I want to build or something, I can be like, wee! Yeah, once my uh, stack goes over 64, then it'll start putting it into the into the bag. That's just coal, right? It's just coal. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just so confused because, like, I did notice that there are two different types of orb of silver ore blocks. Um, they are from different mods, so if you see that, that's why. There's the ones that we saw that come in like extremely large groups, and there's the ones that um, that don't. Um, or I should say there's at least two. I don't know if there's more. Um, but uh, they are like technically identical. Um, I, I'm trying to think of the word here. Um, they're practically identical. There, there's no difference between the the bars and what you can make. Um, they're interchangeable, just like wood planks are. Um, like you know, you can use birch law or birch planks and um, regular planks and and jungle planks all in making the, like one chest, you know. So you can do the same thing with those silver ores, which just means that silver ore is going to be like extremely abundant because apparently it comes in groups of like a million. So that's that's good because I don't know how much. Um, I suppose that wouldn't make much sense, would it? I was going to say, because I forget that um, Feed the Beast doesn't have... Oh, I don't have a freaking pickaxe. Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? Seriously? <sighs> um, hold on, I'll be right back. Alrighty. It's now nighttime, so theoretically the mobs should be less in the caves and more on the surface like that spider I believe is on the surface and we have picks now here. Let's use a new one and then we can repair them after. Um, so what was I saying? Um, no idea. But I moved some stuff over from the macerator into the furnaces or well one furnace and, um, so we are now smelting a bunch of copper, which is good because we'll need a lot of copper wire. Um, I'm, like, I just mentally kicked myself because, um, I should have left some, some copper for, uh, to make bronze out of, because we need bronze for stuff, like a wrench. Because if you try to pick stuff up like a, a macerator without um, anything that's like a machine kind of thing, um, no, that doesn't include like iron furnaces because they're just better furnaces really. It's kind of a better place to get things really hot. Um, but, uh, but yeah, did you see how like my, my cobblestone stack is still at 64? That's because of the digger's backpack. So that should be pretty helpful. And then when I pick up this cobblestone, it's all going to go into the backpack. So that's pretty cool. It's going to save me a lot of inventory space. I actually, like, totally accidentally found that on a, on a wiki for um, the forestry mod. Because um, I was looking for what to do with bees and stuff. And uh, that was on the tab, and I was like, backpack? That sounds useful. Sure enough, it is. So, oh, look at that. Almost missed it. And there's even some hidden. Um, so now that we have the macerator, we can grab some lava and, and the geothermal generator. We can grab some lava and uh, bring it back up and use the macerator to macerate stuff. Obviously. Um, 
we will be able to get twice as much out of each ore as we could have before. So we should be on the road to fun, happy times. Um, that doesn't include things like diamonds, because I, I, can't, I don't have ores for that. Like, I can't pick up the ore for them. Um, there is a thing, I think. Oh, no. I think it's called a rock cutter. Yeah, Silk Touch 3. It just comes with Silk Touch 3 by default. I don't know. What's, oh, one's an industrial diamond. And steel, which is not what I wanted. Blast furnace. Okay, we're going to have to make a blast furnace then, I guess, if we want that. And a battery and some kind of circuity thing in the middle, I, I guess. I don't really know what the... What? How did you get over here? Where, where did you come from? Did you spawn from the skelly spawner? Where did you spawn from? You sneaky, sneaky guy. I guess I didn't really adequately light on top of it. Maybe you just spawned right on top of the spawner. Um, where were we? Right, lava. Let's... Oh, 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 okay. That was scary. Um, anyway, now the buckets stack. This is going to be nice. The lava buckets don't stack, unfortunately. But I can just stack the, uh, the buckets when I start which frees up an inventory space until I get down here, I guess. Um, which, now that I think about it, isn't all that useful. Or helpful, really, in any kind of way. But, oh well. I'm happy about it, so I'm not going to complain. Uh, ooh, lapis. Let's grab some of that. Yeah, let me up. Because once I get a... Where'd it go? Is it over here? It's up there. Okay. Um... Because once I get some tools going, I'm going to want a lap pack, which is basically like a fanny pack, but with batteries in it. Um, so, it just stores energy. Um, and like, if you get an advanced lap pack, it stores quite a bit of energy. Which is really <laughs> useful if you're like using tools to mine and stuff, because... You know, actually, I, no. Mm. Keep hitting C, and I don't know why. Uh, there's actually, yeah, it, like... When I was playing Tech It on a server, the only ones that we had were lap packs. Did we even have advanced lap packs? I don't think we did. Oh, it's a bat pack and a lap pack. Yeah, yeah. It was just those were what I had, which is three hundred thousand for the bat for the lap pack and. Um, I don't actually know how much for the bat pack. That pack is sixty thousand, right? And then the lap pack is 300,000, which is five times as much. And then the advanced lap pack is one million, which is about three times as much. Three and a third. And then this one is 10 million, which is obviously ten times as much. So 10 million EU is pretty much enough to do whatever you want. Um, that's interesting. The advanced lap pack, or the ultimate lap pack, can be made with an advanced lap pack or just a lap pack. Um, I guess not a whole lot goes into the advanced lap pack. I mean, there's an advanced circuit, but um, this thing is pretty easy to make once you've got... I mean, Lapatron Crystal is pretty easy, too. Um, it's not, like, expensive for how much it carries. <laughs> um, so... Yeah, that's cool. Um, let's see. I guess this cave is kind of... Oh, well, maybe not. I was going to say it's kind of out, but... I guess I was mistaken. Um, once we finish the majority of this cave, I'm going to go try to find another cave. Because, you know, this one's this one's all caved out. Oh, am I playing on hard? I am playing on hard. Phew. I mean, obviously I'm not a peaceful, but... Um, you know, I was just worried that maybe I was accidentally on, like, easy or something. I mean, I guess with how hard those mobs killed me at the beginning, I should have expected that I was on hard, but... I think what they need to do is make it so that hard mode has, um, like, 
not just mobs are harder, but just everything is harder. Like, put it back to how it used to be where um, fire would spread like crazy and uh, make it so that on hard mode it goes to that. And um, maybe even just like add like an insane mode where everything is just like much more difficult. Because, um, you know, I mean, it's, the game's not all that difficult, you know? I mean, it's just, it's not really. That's that's my personal opinion on it, at least. Um, and I feel like I share that opinion with a lot of people. Um, what was I looking for? Right. Um, so, you know, I don't, I don't know. I just think that'd be like an interesting way. Just put all those those things that they took out because they made things difficult and put them back in. Um, I'm trying to think of one thing, in, of anything in particular, aside from that. Um, like, oh... <laughs> Like, um, is that diamond? I hate that I can't tell if it's diamond or not. I don't think it is. It is not. Darn. I got excited. Um, I also don't know what lead is used for. Let's, let's look that up. Lead. Lead wire. I don't know what that's for. Block of lead. Lead ore, lead ingot, pulverized lead. Um, let's go. Lead ore makes lead ingot. Lead ingot makes a block of lead. A charge meter. Battery block. I don't know what that does, by the way. Um, a furnace heater. Don't know what that does either. Can you make anything with it? No. Um, a motor. That's interesting. Maybe for like a vehicle of some sort. Energy storage. Oh, excuse me. I don't know what that does either. That's for nuclear reactors. I don't know what pulverized lead does. We can make lead ingots out of it. Great. No. Hardened glass. That sounds good. Slag. I don't even know what that is. Let's check it out. Light gray rock wool. I'm sorry, what? That's, I don't think that's a thing. Wait. Are these just different colors? Is it just like looks like wool, but is actually better? Um, angular saw, diamond cutting head, diamond shard. How do I get a diamond shard? It doesn't tell me. Wrath igniter. No, that's oh, okay. Yep, I, I'm just messing things up now. Okay, let's go back this way. Uh, more coal, more stuff some appetite. I'm getting it. Just gotta, like, you know, it's gonna take a little bit, but for the most part, I'm getting it. Let's, uh, let's hop up this way. <laughs> there we go. I like the look of these blocks here, like the ore blocks. It's just so pretty purple. Is this more lead, I think? No. Yeah? No, uh, I think those are silver. I don't know. I suppose it doesn't really matter. Okay, well, what do we want to do next? Now that we have the generator there, um, I want to make some solar panels, I think. Um, silicon cell. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. That requires a centrifuge, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, that requires a centrifuge. Okay. Oh, boy. I don't know what this thing does. Does enderide dust? Do I, like, put that through a rock crusher or something first? I don't know what's going on. How exactly do you get compressed air dust out of emerald er, compressed air dust I don't even know what I'm talking about soda light how do you get oh right should have known that what does this make I feel like I'm going crazy guys oh hey look at that it, you can use it to make stuff instead of um, lapis uh, lapis so that's neat um, no I'm already right already looking at that use it to make a lapis painter that's nice um, yeah, okay. Oh, then you can put it in here and get aluminum dust. 
Let's see what you can make out of aluminum dust, huh? Aluminum ingot? That, that's it? What can you make out of aluminum? These things. And aluminum dust. Big surprise. Okay. Anyway, I have no idea what that is, but it sounds violent. Um, lithium battery. Ooh. That sounds good. Lithium bat pack. What does that do? 600,000. So, instead of 60,000, it's a 600,000. Can we make anything with that? No? Sounds like it's better to just go with the regular lap pack progression. Because, yeah, I don't know. Okay, oh, yep, let's go. Gotta stop just standing around, because I'm boring myself even, and that's not good. Down we go. torch in there, just to make sure it's lit up. Don't want any baddies spawning. Oh, and I figured out those, um, those, those weird things, they are beehives. Um, for those of you who, who didn't already look it up, because uh, that was probably like an episode or two ago that I found them. Uh, I have no idea how long I've been playing. I actually stopped for dinner between, I think, the last, like, during the last break. Um, had some pizza. It was good. Had, uh, bacon and... Oh, jeez, look at all the uranium. Um, had bacon and pepperoni and mushrooms on it. It was, it was pretty awesome. Had five slices of a large pizza. Which is a lot for me. So, I'm pretty content now. I could use another soda, though. Because I don't really drink anything but soda. So, not that it's healthy for me, but <laughs> who cares? Okay. Let's see. Um, I want what I what I want. What I would like is a quarry. Right. We need eleven diamonds for that. I forgot about that. I forgot about that part. That is going to be the the rough part of this. Um. But let's see. Can I make diamonds? I can smelt that. There's a chance that if ooh if I crush diamond ore. I get two diamonds. Um, there's a chance I could get it from gravel if I crush it in a, in a rock crusher. Why would I macerate a block of diamond? I could literally just craft it. Uh, but that that's the same thing as a rock crusher, I guess. Compressor, I can press a coal chunk, which takes obsidian and eight compressed coal balls, which takes a coal ball, which takes coal dust and flint. The coal dust you get from macerating coal. Big surprise there. Ooh. Huh. You can... Okay. You can burn it. I wouldn't suggest that. But... Scrap box. I guess this just has a chance of giving you things. Have a chance of giving you diamond? Because I would like that. Yes, it does. Wow, titanium dust is a, le is a lesser chance than a diamond? No, it's the same, ch same chance as a diamond. Emeralds are a less chance than a diamond, though. Which seems totally ridiculous to me. <laughs> because emeralds are not worth the same as diamonds, although they are harder to find. Okay, let's, uh... Because, like, you could use a diamond to do a bunch of different stuff, especially in, like, this mod, you know, unless there's something for emeralds that I didn't know about. Well, you can make blocks and stuff. I have no idea what this is right now. I'm just going to pretend it doesn't exist, because entity detector, villager, it's weird, rock crusher, it's dust, data storage circuit, dust, it's a bat, bat, bat somewhere, dying in lava. Well, he's probably dead now. Okay, it looks like we're just going to head out of here, because I don't see anything else. And what I think I'm going to do is find... Oh, there we are. Find a, another cave to go digging in. Um, I don't really need that silver right now, so it's going to stay. Um... I can always come back for it later. 
and I definitely will at some point, I'm sure. Um, so, oh, the staircase isn't the best, and I almost just fell off and scared the crap out of me. Okay, um, you think that goes somewhere over there? Maybe it does. Let's try it. And I just want to, again, make the walkway too wide. Just for my comfort. Shovel, man! He's trying to shovel me in the face. I don't appreciate that, zombie. Yo, zomb dog. I'm sorry for that. Uh, so we got mushrooms, that's good. I mean, we had some already, but now we have more. So that's fun. Hey, buddies. You guys can stay there. Oh, good, more copper. Again, I need more of that for bronze. Zombies aren't that bright. I mean, we already knew that, but... I'm just constantly amazed by how not bright they are. Let's see... Do I want to go down? Doesn't look like it. Oh, we're going down anyway. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I was intending to jump there, believe it or not. It didn't quite go as planned. Bunch of... poofy stuff in my face. Zombies are poofing. There's oh, um, I was I was going to say um, I forgot to mention earlier. There's an upgrade that you can get to the um, to the backpacks that brings them from 15 slots to 45 slots, which sounds incredibly appealing. But it requires stuff from beekeeping, and I have no idea how to do that. So it's gonna have to require us going on a little beekeeping adventure. And uh. That'll be fun at some point. I don't know when we'll get around to that. Um, I still need to make a uh, a scoop, which is used to get the bees out of their beehives. Um, I believe you get one queen bee and one drone bee, like a worker bee, from those those beehives. But um, like the ones that we found in nature, the ones that have little icons all over the place. I should really just turn off most of those, because they're kind of annoying. Um, well, I assume they're kind of annoying. I've learned to just, like, block them out. <laughs> um, but they do definitely get in the way. I can't argue that. I can't argue against that. I can definitely argue for it. Um, but, uh, yeah, so when we get bee stuff going, that'll be cool. Um, and, and I will be doing that, because I want those bigger bags. And I have no idea how that's going to turn out, but, you know, apparently the the bees followed traditional um, Mendel genetics as listed on the on the website for feed, or not feed the bees, for forestry, the wiki. It's just, uh, like, basic genetics with dominant and recessive genes. So, I know what that is. So hopefully I'll be able to figure it out. Um, but, you know, you never know. I could just run in there blind and end up killing all my bees for no reason. As I am apt to do. Hello. How's it going? Party in his ass. Whoa. What? You just uncover those. Where is everything coming from all of a sudden? It's not even morning yet, is it? Doesn't look like it. It just suddenly started pouring in. I just want to grab this stuff. I wish I had a better pickaxe, but I can't use any of my diamonds because I want to make a. Um, I want to make a quarry, which is like better than a diamond pick, as far as I'm concerned. Because a diamond pick is all good and dandy. That goes deep. We might find diamonds down there. Um, does this go up much higher? It does seem to. Let's just grab this copper and then go down. That's good enough. Great. Good use of my time. Getting one copper. 
I'm mono. No, not monazite. What is it? It's, uh. Uh. Well, it's not monazite. Redstone. Come hither. Fall into me. More redstone. Okay. We need coal, too, so I might as well grab this while we're down here. I guess this doesn't go anywhere. Super disappointing. I was all excited thinking it was actually going to go somewhere. Maybe we'd find diamonds. Or, like, something better than diamonds. I don't know what's better than diamonds, but... Maybe we'd find some iridium. Although I hear that that's, like, endgame stuff, so probably not. Again, most of my experience in Tekkit was limited to... Uh, I say again, I don't really know if I told you guys. But uh, most of my experience with Tekkit was limited to Equivalent Exchange, which is not part of this mod pack. So, um, yeah. I basic What I'm saying is basically I don't know what I'm doing. Um, there are some mods in this that aren't in Tekkit. And there are some mods in Tekkit that aren't in, that aren't in this. Um, but they do share some of the larger ones. Like Industrial Craft. And Tekkit originally had forestry in it. But then the creator asked to have it removed. So they stopped doing that. Um, I think they just kind of put everything together without asking people. And um, apparently the guy who made Forestry didn't like that so much. So he told them to, to just you know, cut it out. And then they were like, oh, we'll find that. And they took Forestry out, and everybody got sad because everybody liked Forestry. <laughs> And now there's Feed the Beast, which has forestry, and I feel like it's going to get a lot of people because of that. I mean, I shouldn't say that. I, I don't know how people feel about forestry. I mean, it seems like a pretty helpful mod. I'm, I do remember hearing people be like, ah, oh, you know, I, I miss forestry. Um, and there were people, um, like the Yuck's cast, I believe, played on an older version of Tekkit because it had uh, forestry in it. So I guess that's kind of like a screw you to the forestry developer. Um... But, yeah, so, this has forestry, That's what I'm trying to say here, which is where the bees come from. That and, like, the abyss, because they're evil. I'm kidding, I don't really care about bees. I, li I like the big fat ones, I think they're kind of cute. They're the only bug that I think is kind of cute. Most bugs I just hate. I feel like I'm blogging right now, or vlogging, or something. Because I'm totally not talking about anything related to Minecraft. Um, but I mean, you know, unless I'm building something, I, I don't really have all that much to talk about, I guess. Let's see, um, well, I, I guess I'm talking about industrial craft, and, or industrial craft, the mod pack and everything, so, you know, that's, that's a thing. Um, I really wish that I wasn't having troubles recording that adventure map, because I was totally going to do that today, and then I was like, oh, and I was going to do it a couple days ago, too, and I was like, oh, because it just doesn't, it doesn't want to work. It keeps crashing on me. If I didn't say it before, the, the problems that I'm having is that it keeps crashing. Um, I went, I went near that big, um, crater thing, and Minecraft was all, <laughs> nope. And, uh, ooh, Another ravine. That's probably not diamond. Slime? Hey, buddy. Die over the... No! Crap. If I do want this. And this. Again, not that I intend to actually use nuclear stuff. But, uh... <laughs> yeah. Um... You know, I, one of the reasons why I wanted to play Feed the Beast is because it doesn't have equivalent exchange. Because Tekkit is alright. Um, it's very technical, which I, I do like. Um, I mean, so is Feed the Beast, obviously. They share a lot of the same stuff. But um, equivalent exchange, it it adds like a, a magic tech tree kind of thing. Like, not that there's a tech tree, really, but, well, I guess there kind of is. It really depends on how you look at it, I guess. Um, but
but like you know you've got to, you've got to build this thing before you can make that thing and then you got to make this thing before you can make that thing and now that you have both of them you can make another thing it's that kind of stuff um and uh, Kulman Exchange was basically a way to turn stuff into other stuff. Hey, look, a spawner. Oh, it's a spider spawner. Okay, okay. What's in the chest? Good stuff. Good stuff. These can go in the backpack. Or not those ones, but the rest of them can. What about these? Can these not go? Nope, I guess monazite doesn't work. Got some coal coke? TNT cart? What the crap is that? Um, let's see. I don't really need wheat. I don't need that either. I do want to keep the string though. I don't need that. Oh, out of torches. Um, what was I talking about? Uh... Tech it, um, equivalent exchange, right? Um, I did equivalent exchange because it was all magic y and stuff, and I was like, yeah, I like magic. But what it, what it basically is is that it just allows you to, to change things into other stuff, really. Because um, <coughs> every item in equivalent exchange has a, a, including all like the vanilla items and everything, have a set value to them. So it's kind of like a it's called EMC, I forget what it stands for, it's like energy mass currency or something like that. It's just like the... It's basically like how much energy a, an item has, I guess. Um, because you can turn it into energy and then turn it back into something else. So if you had like a bunch of small things, you could break them down into energy that... And I, when I say small, I mean like not valuable. Because um, anything valuable is going to... Uh, Val valuable things like diamonds and stuff have higher EMC values than other stuff. So, um, if you have a bunch of things like dirt or stone, you can toss them into this thing that'll turn them into... There are several ways to do it, actually, but you can toss them into something that'll break them down into, into the energy, and then just once you have a total amount of energy equal to whatever is in a diamond, which is like 8,000 or something, and stone is one, um, then you can make a diamond. So, it's... It's a way to move energy around like that in, in a way that you can turn a bunch of not valuable stuff into something valuable. Um, which was neat until... I'm sorry, my, my throat's getting dry and my nose is getting stingy. Um, so actually, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go grab a soda real quick um, just to counteract that. So I will be back in just a second. Alrighty. That feels much better. You ever just talk for a bunch of hours and, you know, I don't know. I've been recording for, like, man, I want to say five hours, or I've been playing Minecraft for like five hours total, and I've been recording for the majority of it, so... You know, excuse me if my voice gets a little achy. I didn't think I was going to get that one. Gimme. Alrighty. And there's some of this stuff. What is this stuff again? I, psh, I don't know. I don't get to know what it is. Let's see what we got in here. Some... I don't like that these two take up space. Wow, look at all the iron we've got. Man. It's a ton. Plenty of copper and tin. Oh, that's nice. Alright. Let's try to sort that. There we go. Um, there's nothing over here. Alrighty. Um, we got some... Some buddies down there. keep thinking that's like diamond or something, but it's not. Just gotta learn that it's just never, it's never diamond. If it were, that would be too easy. Let's try to make our way down here, and if this 
isn't uh, productive in any way, then I think that will be the end of me playing for the night, because I am kind of tired. So, you know, I, I am human and stuff, so don't blame me for that. But uh, I'll probably play more tomorrow or something. Oh, boy. Never thought playing video games all day could be so tiring. I don't know why. I, I went to bed late last night, and um, and I, I woke up. I won't, I won't, I'm not going to say I woke up late. Oh, dear. I was, like, right in the face. Um, but I woke up at, like, 8. Went to bed at midnight, woke up at 8. That's late for me. Um, and, uh, I guess I didn't, I didn't sleep all that great last night, but, I don't know, I figured I'd be more awake at this point in the day, but, I guess not. Doing nothing really takes it out of me. Oh, buddy! <laughs> Jeez, freaking dive bombing me. Okay, put that down. Let's come back here. Ooh, iron. Don't want to just leave that behind. That'd be like tragic. It's not like we don't have enough, but. You know, still. Well, I shouldn't say we have enough because we don't, but. It's not like we don't have a lot. But we don't have enough, regardless, so. Because it takes a lot of materials to make stuff sometimes. Like, um, is it the quarry that I, what is that? Ironwood Helm. What is happening here? <laughs> Maybe that's like, okay liquid sensors. Quantum suit. That's like the best kind of armor stuff. Um, I don't know what a quantum chest is here. Like, I just... I, I don't know. Um, what was it that I was thinking of? Uh, I know solar panels in Tekkit require a lot of iron to make, but apparently not here. They just require this stuff. Requires an industrial centrifuge, which is that one. What is this stuff? Industrial diamond, industrial credit, and an industrial alarm. Even better. <coughs> okay, so make an industrial centrifuge, or maybe I could just type in centrifuge. Is that the same thing? I don't think it is. Um, centrifuge extractor, Ex extractor, industrial centrifuge. What is this made out of? An extractor. Okay, so I guess they are different, but I don't know how different. This one is very expensive. This one is not quite so expensive. Um, that is something that. What is happening? Why, do you, why does it have to be all this weird stuff? I'm assuming that it cycling through stuff like this just means that it can be any one of them. Which means I can make two advanced circuits. Or I can try to figure out how to make this thing. But like... I need an assembly table? I don't... What What happened? I'm... Okay, I'm getting out of here. I just started moving through stuff and... I got confused. And all that... All that good stuff. <laughs> nope. Right. Eating pushes you back. Because you can't eat and swim at the same time. But I don't know why. I mean, come on. I eat and swim at the same time all the time. Oh, wow. I didn't actually expect that, that creeper to die. Um, Alright, I'm, I'm going to be done for now. Uh-huh. Um, just going to kill that guy. Because this looks pretty... Uh, pretty... Painful, honestly. Um... <laughs> I don't think I'm in the mood for that right now, but we can return later and uh, have some fun.
So once I grab this stuff, which I will do in just a second, I'm so bad at ending episodes. I'm just like, yeah, sure, I'm totally ending the episode, just give me a second or five. Okay. Alright. Okay, hi, bat. Oh. Okay. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Um, and, uh, yeah. I don't know how many episodes this is going to make. Probably, like, five. Prob maybe more. I don't know. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, ugh. Screw you. Okay. I'm just going to, like, block myself in. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy this cobblestone view. Until next time. Um, when I will see you then. Next time, when I... See, whatever. See ya.